Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where I'll be sharing with you the net work days function. This function allows you to calculate the number of business days or working days between two dates in Excel. Let's jump in. On my Excel spreadsheet, I have a basic project plan where I want to calculate the number of working days between today's date and the projected end date for our project. To do this, I'll use the net workdays function. As you can see, the net workdays function has two required arguments, the start date and the end date, as well as an optional argument for holidays. To enter a date value into this function, you can either enter the date in quotations or you can simply click the cell reference with the date you want to utilize. So for this example, I'll click the start date as today in cell A3. After a comma, the end date will be the project end date and then I can click enter. And you see Excel returns to me the number of business days or working days in between these two date values. As a bonus tip, you can use functions to give you the current date. So for example, in cell A3, I have the today function located there so that as we get closer to the project end date, the working days remaining will update its value. When working with projects, you do also want to consider any potential holidays that are upcoming. The net workdays function optional argument can assist you here. So after another comma, we have the optional holidays argument. I can simply highlight the range of cells with the holidays located in there. After clicking enter, you'll see the net workdays function has updated to remove those two working days, which are holidays. Team, I hope you enjoyed this tip today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.